want to know if a no buy could possibly be good for you. Doing a no buy for any extended amount of time definitely takes serious commitment. I never in a million years would have thought that I would have ever come to the decision to do a two year no buy. <laughs> This is my five month check in on my two year no buy. If you want to hear how I have been doing on my no buy, then just make sure to keep on watching. But first, make sure you guys subscribe by clicking that subscribe button. Also, while you're at it, be sure to turn on those notifications so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload. All you have to do is click the little bell and bam, you're good to go. <laughs> this has probably been one of the best decisions that I've made for myself in a very long time. for stopping by and if you're new here hi how are you welcome to the family I would hope that you would subscribe if you want to see more content from me my name is Rose I'm a girl boss on a no buy who loves to save money and project Pam today's video is my five month check-in on my two year no buy I have officially been on a no buy since the beginning of the year but really officially started my two-year no buy in November of last year. Prior to starting my no buy, I was on a low buy, giving myself a monthly budget of 50 bucks a month for anything makeup or beauty related, which was really a quite a change considering I used to spend about $450 a month just on makeup alone. And then with the mass amount of makeup that I have acquired over the past three years now has become quite overwhelming to me. And then I started seeing some changes in my spending patterns and my spending behavior and constantly wanting to bring in more and more and more and not really necessarily use up any of the items that I have thus giving me very large quantities and makeup and when I realized that it was becoming a problem is when I finally decided to come to the decision to start a not a one-year no buy but a two-year no buy so we are officially in the fifth month of my no buy which is actually the sixth month that I have made any like fun purchases I like to call them which is basically where you would spend money on unnecessary purchases basically when it comes to my makeup collection is pretty much everything because I don't need anything as far as makeup <laughs> I have backups of everything so the only really exception and the only thing I've really have been repurchasing in the past few months is like makeup wipes and that's really about it. I did set myself five boundaries while on my no buy. My no buy strictly is makeup only. It's not like housewares or clothing or even skincare for that matter. Really makeup was the only problem spending area that I had. So my no buy is strictly based upon makeup spending purchases. And I set myself five boundaries. One is, you know, obviously I'm not allowed to buy any makeup. My second boundary is I am allowed to replace any type of item that may break and that's only with the exception of if I don't have backups of that item. My third boundary is I am allowed to replenish items that I use up and again that's the same thing going in regards to as long as I don't have backups or I'm allowing myself to get down to a certain number. So for example like concealers I will be allowed to replenish and buy a new concealer once I get down to three three concealers left in my collection which is going to take quite a while because I am in the 20s with concealers right now. <laughs> my fourth boundary I set for myself is am I allowed to buy gifts and I am definitely allowing myself to buy gifts for other people as well as receive gifts which is my fourth boundary just because the act of kindness of giving I don't didn't want that to partake in my no buy. I don't want my no buy to feel like it's a punishment 
attachment. I have my why as to why I'm doing it very clear and set in stone. And it's not a punishment. It's just a way to re kind of strategize my spending purchases and my spending habits. My fifth boundary, not my fourth, is, you know, being able to receive gifts as well. I am allowing myself to receive gifts while on my no buy. My birthday was in April, so I wanted to kind of go over some of my numbers with you guys because I did receive a lot of gifts for my birthday that were makeup related, so my inventory numbers have increased a little bit. And I wanted to just touch briefly on them and how many items and stuff like that. My objectives for my no buy, and I'm looking down at my notes, you guys, because I always write down or reference things when I do my filming is to ultimately quit irresponsibly spending of non-essentials, no casual shopping on anything beauty related, and save that money that I would normally spend on makeup for a more prosperous future and ex more like life experiences. With, with the corona going on right now, we haven't been able to do many like actual life experiences right now, but I have two years, 18 months left basically. <laughs> Another objective is to live on a realistic fixed income, to find beauty and value in non-commercial endeavors, and basically focus on my own creativity, get full enjoyment out of the collection that I already own instead of wanting to continually add on to it. I do have such a beautiful, large collection of makeup, and I am very fortunate and very blessed by people who love me, and I have worked very hard for the items and the makeup that I do have. I pretty much bought and paid for every single thing that I own. On this no buy, I have my husband who is very sweet and basically spoiled me this year on my birthday. So that's basically what I wanted to do was just briefly check in with you guys and let you guys know that the no buy is still going strong. I have not broken it, but I did receive some gifts for my birthday last month. And if you haven't seen my birthday haul video, I will go ahead and link that in the cards for you guys. I pretty much share everything that I got for my birthday in that video. So because of all the new items I got for my birthday, I was very overwhelmed because I was set in the mindset of not purchasing items or not wanting to. I haven't really been tempted or like craving makeup because I am an addict in recovery. So I have to be especially careful because I feel like my addiction can kind of switch from drugs and alcohol to now purchasing and wanting to constantly buy makeup. Because I realized that pattern and I realized that that was a problem in my past with my history is why I deemed that it was necessary to do a two year no buy. I will of course after one year, so at the beginning of next year, I will do a reevaluation and a reassess on my no buy and how well I've been doing on it and check in with you guys and see See if I feel it is needed and necessary to go on for another year or not and we will go from there. I'm also thinking of a video coming soon that I'm getting ready to film. Basically, I'm gonna call it five no buy challenges and is a no buy right for you where I'm going to just share some of my knowledge and experience that I have gained while being on this no buy so far. I think it'll be a really interesting video. For my birthday last month, I had a total of 25 new items that were brought into my makeup collection, which kinda is a lot to to me, I was, again, very overwhelmed with the sheer amount of love and all of the makeup I got, which it's very sweet. Don't get me wrong, I'm very grateful for it, but it was just a lot to take in, especially considering I haven't been buying anything with the exception of makeup wipes, and I bought the Ordinary Buffet Serum last month at the beginning of March, I want to say, and that's really all I have bought in. The fact that I got 25 additional new fun purchases and fun items in my collection has really kind of like altered my project pan updates and everything it kind of because I want to like play with the new makeup and everything but I do also realize that it's given me a new sense of appreciation for the gifts and the makeup that I did receive instead of just carelessly spending money and throwing my money away on makeup all the time the fact that I received these items as a gift kind of gave me a newfound sense of appreciation towards my makeup collection as a whole which to me is definitely a lot of growth
growth I can see in myself. And I'm just very proud at how far I have come in just the five months that I've been doing this no buy already. Let me know if a no buy or a low buy is something that you are interested in doing and what are some ways that you are trying to basically strategize your no buy or low buy. I would love to know. Leave me a comment down below. And again, I will have another video sharing my five no buy challenges and if a no buy is right for you. So you want to keep an eye out for that video. It will be coming very soon. But that is basically everything, you guys. I just wanted to briefly check in with you guys and let you know that even though I had a birthday and I got all these beautiful gifts for my birthday, I didn't break my no buy. I have not made any purchases outside of my own pocket with my own cash on makeup. Still going strong since November of 2019 which is such a huge accomplishment from compared to how I used to shop. I would literally buy makeup at least three to four times a week. I was online shopping, spending, buying new makeup. I'm also thinking of doing some more declutter videos coming soon just to try to lessen down my very large collection that I have. It's very hard for me to declutter. I have done one declutter so far. I will link it in the cards if you're interested in checking out to see what all I have decluttered. I still have a very long way to go as far as getting my collection back down to a more realistic size and I do realize that I'm not going to necessarily use up all of this makeup that I own there's just no way and humanly possible it would take me 20 30 years to do so five lifetimes more like so <laughs> decluttering or giving this stuff away before it expires would be the more realistic avenue for me it's just very difficult and I have to learn how to basically let go of these items because they are beautiful things in my collection and we love our makeup and our, our beautiful things dearly I believe we all can relate to that so when I get to that point and that chapter in my life and I feel that I am comfortably able to let go of some of these things whether it be to gift it to friends and family or sadly have to declutter it all together is when I will definitely see growth and know that this no buy has changed my thinking and my way of thinking and my outlook towards just spending and makeup as a whole. That is basically everything for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel out so much. Make sure you're subscribed and comment down below. <laughs> and until my next video, everybody enjoy the rest of their day. Bye!